Now with Youth Day coming up tomorrow this morning, we're celebrating some talented youngsters who are doing South Africa so very proud. Being handpicked by the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, Zara Nazink Laurie from Rustenburg Girls High School and Gabrielle Guess from St. Cyprian's represented the country at an international level this year. And both of them won awards. Now this morning, they share their research projects with us. I think they deserve a big hand of applause. Ladies, you guys are amazing. Congratulations. First of all, there we go. Just, just, just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Take it all in. First off, uh, how does it feel being a youth in South Africa representing our country on an international level for science? I'll start off with you, Zara. Um, I think it's, it's really incredible that I got to represent South Africa in something that I'm really passionate about, yeah. which is science. And I absolutely um, think that ESCOM Expo does a great job because they give you these opportunities to go overseas and represent your country, which is something that I really enjoyed doing and it was an incredible experience. Wonderful. You, Gabrielle? I also have to agree with Zara. It is the most incredible experience and I feel completely honoured to yeah. do it. And through ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, it gives the opportunity for, for so many mm. um, people whose passion lies in science yeah. or even engineering and it doesn't matter your background it doesn't matter even what field in science you enjoy yeah but they allow you to grow and to that's really awesome. exhibit exhibit your your passion that's amazing so Zara I know that you won the civil the silver medal at the Taiwan International Science Fair big congratulations is that oh, correct? well yes. done tell us a little bit more about your study and the conclusions that you made through that um, so my study focused on the barriers that high school girls at my school have towards the menstrual cup and um, I studied this because there's a shocking statistic that a lot of girls in South Africa miss school every month because they don't have um, yeah. enough resources to go yeah. to school during when they have their period. So um, I did some research and I found out about the menstrual cup, which is a more environmentally friendly and economically um, safe, well, economically benefiting op um, uh, uh, alternative yeah. to using pads or tampons. Yeah. Uh, and I basically did my study to see how many girls in my school knew about it and whether they would be willing to try it or not. Yeah. Wow, powerful stuff. I love that you researched that. And of course, uh, it, it affects so many girls around the country yeah. as well. Gabrielle, your study involved observing bees and it won you the award at the International, or rather the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Pennsylvania, USA. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your study? Um, yes, so what I looked at was the pollen sources that were available to honeybees during the months of December to March and I, because normally there's not much vegetation that is flowering during that time period yeah. and honeybees require pollen right through the year. Yeah. So what I determined was that they rely almost exclusively on agricultural weeds and the eucalyptus gum tree, yeah. both of which are alien to South Africa. Wow. So it raises the challenge that our honeybees are relying on something that's alien. Yeah. However, we don't necessarily want something that that's is alien. Exactly especially with our water crisis. Wow, powerful. Look at these two girls. I mean, like you said, Gabrielle, science is so broad, two completely different perspectives, but so important at the same time. Can I ask you, what are you both planning to do once you leave high school? Um, when I want to, when I get older, I really want to be an obstetrician oh, wow. or a gynecologist um, because I'm just really interested in like female health and helping women all around the world. That's awesome. And you, Gabrielle? Um, I'm not exactly certain where, but yeah. I know my passion lies in research and finding new things out. So I'm not really sure which area exactly, but definitely scientific research. Oh, amazing. Well, I just want to say a big well done to you. You guys inspire me, even though you're so much younger. I look at you and I like, oh, the, the future's bright for South Africa. So thank you and well done once again. Well, there you go. To have a two young ladies who are doing amazing things in the world of science and definitely representing South Africa, not only nationally, but internationally as well.